Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, just stay in that place with, with Jesus. I know many of you are being touched. Let's just pray together while we're in the presence. Jesus, be glorified. Holy Spirit, sweep through this place. Glorify Jesus, we pray. Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, give it up, man. Come on, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So you cannot be seated or lay down, jump around. It doesn't really matter. My goodness, man. Eric's, he's just on another planet. <laughs> I'm serious, man. The problem is he's always that way. I'm serious. It's not like a pulpit thing. He has no off switch. And, uh, man, it's so addicting, like Daniel said, to be, even be around him. And So come on, Jesus. Let's see where we end up. But first off, just want to uh, honor Daniel Kalinda and the CFAN team. If we can give it up. Yeah. No one liked them in the earth. And how about Nations Church, man? <laughs> Come on. They are going to flip this city upside down and the globe as well. I've never known Daniel to, he, he doesn't know how to do things small. <laughs> it just doesn't, doesn't even fit in his vocabulary. It was awesome. Last night, the uh, explosion went off and balloons started falling. It was just epic. It's like we're in this heavenly portal, and, uh, and, and Todd was like a kid in a candy store. He's like, I just want to pop balloons. <laughs> I just want to <laughs> So he was able to get a few and pop them. It was glorious. And uh, anyway, I'm just excited and such an honor. I love you, Daniel, and, and all, the whole crew. I mean, these guys are the real deal, and uh, it's just such a humbling thing to run with them, and and, uh, and so awesome, but my goodness, I don't know where we're going to go after Eric just did that. So <laughs> it's just, you know, we'll, we'll probably just try and jump back into the river if that's okay here in a second um, and see where it ends up. I know we have communion here shortly as well. How many of you are excited about communion? Yeah, me too. The fanciest communion cups I've ever seen in my life, by the way. Yeah. So it's going to be super anointed. Jesus said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. And I believe many people are going to be healed and touched. And so that's awesome. But um, let's jump in and see where we end up. I, I uh, had a few prophetic things to share, if that's okay. This is how I'm bent a little bit and hear God. And just want to be obedient to that and let it land where it will. And then... Um, We'll make room for hopefully the Holy Spirit to move, and, and I'm excited. We'll just see where it, where it ends up. So um, I'll share this first. I had a, uh, I'm trying to think which one to share first. Um, I'll share this one first. So I, I saw in prayer, and many of you, I'll give a quick, but prophetic's unique. Okay, you see pictures and symbols often. You guys understand that? It's all in the Bible, but people that don't see it there often, you know, it can kind of be strange sometimes. But um I saw myself in prayer regarding this event come up to uh, a beaver dam and I knew I had to break it. So the, it's just crazy. Eric's quoting all these verses that, that I was, you know, but I, I definitely feel they're in tandem and Daniel was real prophetic to put us together. But I knew one of the small part I was to play in this was to break this dam so water could flow. And, um, you know, that you just see things like this often, the prophetic symbols, they have meanings, you know, I've just had to learn. And it's very biblical. You see in Judges chapter seven, where uh, actually God gave a dream to the Philistine camp, the opposing Gideon. And of all things, they go into a dream where they see a bread loaf rolling down the hill. You, you guys remember that? Judges chapter seven. I think they were keto or something because they, they thought the bread, they just knew the bread was their enemy. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Philistines were low carb. I don't know how they interpreted that, but 
these are instances you see often in Scripture where God uses these symbols to, to speak. And sooner they, they, that's none other than Gideon, the carbohydrate of the Lord. He's coming to take us out. And uh, you see, um, you know, Pharaoh, he has a dream, seven healthy cows, seven skinny and sheaves of wheat. Peter in Acts chapter 10, it's a sheet came down filled with bacon. That's my version. And anyway, so there's symbols like this. So I knew uh, this beaver dam, uh, all of us know beavers, basically they dam up flowing water. So it stops and it's stagnant and they stop the flow of the river. And so I knew at some point, hopefully here in a second, um, we're going to break that dam and let the Holy Spirit flow. Is that okay? Yeah. Um, often if you see things like this or whatever, it's often religion, false ideologies, just things that happen in life to all of us, if we're honest. And uh, it stops the flow of the Spirit. And nowhere in Scripture do you find Jesus, like Eric just mentioned, or the Holy Spirit tied into still uh, or stagnant dead water. It's always rivers always and that we want the water to flow um one of my favorites is uh, psalm 46 4 the bible says there's a river whose streams make glad the city of god you guys ever heard of that verse in psalms chapter uh, 46 verse 4 well there's a river that i believe it's going to flow here shortly and it's got streams even that come off of this river tributary. So if you think you're in a safe place in here, you're not. <laughs> Just, that's, that's where I'm going with this. You might want to find an exit door here pretty quickly. But there's a river and it's already massive. Listen, Jesus, even it says he has a voice as of roaring waters. We're talking Niagara Falls here. John seven, yeah, it'll start flowing too. If you receive uh, John seven, Eric quoted it. Jesus says, out of your belly will flow rivers. So also, if you just a little bit later when we pray, if you see like a, somebody's being a stick in the mud, don't say anything. Just kind of turn your belly at them a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those tributaries of the Holy Spirit will take them out. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. They won't know. You can just like act like you're looking at a neighbor. Bam. <laughs> just worship. Brastane. Praying tongues. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> and the river will flow. So anyway, Psalm 46, four, man, there's a river whose streams, so streams take off from it and just start taking people out, um, that make glad the city of God. Isn't that awesome? How of you like to be glad? Yeah. My, likewise, you, you saw Eric, man, he's one of the most giddy people I mean, you can see it. He just can't help it. It's because he's, he's, he's just been smoked by Jesus every minute of his life. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how far we're going to get. But, <laughs> hey, I, I broke my new record, though. I've, I've said, like, yes, come on, Jesus. <laughs> There's a God of miracles. <laughs> uh, so, um, ah, Hebrews, this is another really good one. You, you can just receive, you, you know, Hebrews one, nine. I love this one. Psalm 45, seven. It's in both places. Bible went out of its way to make sure that it was mentioned twice. It says this about Jesus Christ, the one you and I are filled with. If you're not born again, you've got to get born again. So anyway, it says Jesus Christ, because he loved righteousness. He, he really is infatuated with righteousness. And also he hated wickedness. Not the wicked. He loves sinners, but wickedness, no time for it. But because of that, it says God, his God looked down and whoosh, anointed him. <laughs> she just fell out of the aisle. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> it's like the Lord just thumped her, man. She rolled. That, I, I, I looked just at the right time. That was awesome. That's those tributaries. I'm telling you, they'll snake off and just take people out. You don't want to get hungry right now. That's a bad move. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, loved righteousness, Hebrews 1.9. Psalm 45, 7. Uh, hated wickedness. 
<laughs> and uh, So, <laughs> he, uh, he anointed Jesus. <laughs> I said that part already. Uh, <laughs> you can read it. It's Hebrews 1 9. <laughs> Psalm 45 7. It's in there twice, man. It's so good, it's in there twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why don't we do this just while we're here? Um, what was the other one? Yeah, why don't you do this? If you, uh, you could just lay your hand on your neighbor, it would be awesome. Just let the Holy Spirit flow. Go ahead and be filled. Yeah. There it is. Sometimes you can just kind of poke them in the ribs. <laughs> yeah, all the way in the back. There it is. The river whose streams make glad the city of God. Yeah, just continue to receive. I'm going to pray. <clears throat> yeah, right now, all depression be broken off of you in Jesus' name. Wherever the Holy Spirit is, there's complete liberty. Be free. Addictions fall off in the name of Jesus. There it is. Be free. Liberation. Yeah. Fresh baptism in the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, for, for dreams and visions to love you more and fulfill your purposes. Joel 2, Acts 2. Another one I love is Ephesians 5. It says to not be drunk on wine, but be filled with the Spirit. That's an epic verse. Paul wrote that one. 
Yeah. And real quick, while you're just in the presence, the, uh, I had a dream. I won't share all the details, but there was somebody crystal clear in this dream that you're going to be called to Australia. Um, God's going to pluck you out and call you to Australia. It's really powerful in the dream. I'll share it. Actually, it's fun. I got a little time. I kid you not, the power's hitting this person. And I'm sitting there releasing an impartation in the dream for this meeting. And I'm going, kangaroos, didgeridoo. <laughs> See, I'm not kidding in the dream. And I'm hearing like a didgeridoo. It was powerful, man. God's got a sense of humor. But whoever you are, listen to me. You're going to get rocked, and there's something with you going to Australia. I also saw Cairo, Egypt. I think it's something with Nations Church as well. Man, there, there's nations. It's these commissionings, these dreams and things that were coming, a vision. Cairo, Egypt, and John 151 is going to be a key verse for you. Where Jesus says, you'll see angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. There's really something to do with angelic assistance accompanying somebody being called to Cairo, Egypt. You're going to be very familiar with the angelic realm. Hebrews 1.14 says, aren't they ministering spirits sent to assist those who are to inherit salvation? So Cairo, Egypt, in your infatuation for Jesus, the latter, the angelic realm is going to really assist you. And then just last night I went into a... Um, a dream that many of you hear, um, the Lord's going to move you out of your hometown. Uh, the, the word of the Lord came in the dream and, and you're going to notice favor is going to lift if it hasn't already. And he's moving you, um, it, you know, don't everybody's up and move now and put your house on the market, but here God, but I knew there's something to do with people still staying in their hometowns for practical reasons. You know, my family's there. Right? We have this, that, and the other is already set up, but just be open to hear God because he's going to start plucking people out. I saw it in a dream and moving you for a great purpose with, with tribes and things that he's trying to do. So, so yeah, Australia, Cairo, Egypt, people being moved. So just pray right now. If you keep your hand on your neighbor, let's pray for that. I want whoever that was to get taser gunned uh, for Australia. It may be um, live stream as well. Just receive. Just begin to sing in the spirit. How many of you are filled with the Holy Spirit in here? Yeah. So as you release that river, just pray and sing in the spirit like tongues of angels through this place. Let's just get lost, shall we? It's the last session last night. Yeah, just let it out. You don't have to sound real pretty. And as you sing in the spirit, be filled. Let those rivers that that Eric mentioned flow. Let them flow and fill you and fill your neighbor. Just get lost in the glory of God now. The Bible refers to this as the tongues of angels. It's a mystery, unknown language to heaven. There it is. Get lost. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Let the river, river that makes glad the city of God flow now. Those of you watching through live stream, just lay hands on yourself and receive. Right now, be filled, be filled, be filled all over this place. Be filled with overflowing. There is, let the tongues of angels out, let it flow. Let it rise all over this place. Just sing a, a song unto the Lord. Yeah, there it is. That's beautiful. You sound beautiful. Sing it directly to Jesus. Bam <laughs> 
Branda na 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 ye, brambando ste na. E na 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 ya. Right now, those being called to Australia, receive it right now. The Lord says, whom may I send? It's being sent to Australia. Kangaroos and didgeridoos. Koala bears. Everything in between. Australia, Cairo, Egypt. Angelic assistance in Jesus' name. Boom, bam, dan, dan, dan. Boom, bam, dan, dan, dan. Boom, ba, na, 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 na. There it is right there in your homes. Get lost in the glory of God. Listen, be slightly hungry right now. Get caught up, get caught up, get caught up. Show us your glory, Lord Jesus. Walk the aisles, touch your people. Flip more people out of their chairs. That's a lot of fun. Uramana nahi As you continue to receive, I just want to read uh, Philippians 3, 8 to you. The Lord's really been on this. Uh, yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Uh, just Wednesday, I saw him in a way. I'm not going to go there, but listen to me. I just want you to know that it's really on his heart right now that we know him very, very intimately. We know we're in the last hour and... You see in Matthew 7 and 25, a company, I won't go there for the sake of time, but a company, they meet the Lord at the end, and all that mattered was did they know him or not, intimately. And that word know there means to um, know in a deep, intimate way by firsthand contact and knowledge. If you look at the Greek, it's to experientially know, to know by seeing. I just want to encourage you guys uh, really to springboard off of what Eric said, that We've got to come into a place of deep, deep intimacy in this hour while we hit the go of the gospel, like, like Ben mentioned, both, you know. God's always uh, both and. He's never either or. You know that? Isn't that awesome? So the great commission, but deeply knowing the Lord. In Jesus' name, awesome. I'll get out of the way and let them, uh, I don't know who's doing communion. But just give God praise and continue to drink. Thank you for your time.